Good morning and welcome to Trade of the Week on Monday, the 26th of September. Last week, my colleague Josh had a brilliant trade idea in that he went long on the VIX index, the um, volatility index in the United States, and uh, basically anticipated an increase in volatility due to the FOMC meeting and also um, other central banks reporting during that week. And uh, as you can see here on the daily chart of the VIX, he basically went long at 26.63 because he expected a breakout to the upside to be seen in the course of the following week, which has now happened. Equity markets have come off and uh, the VIX has rallied very strongly, as you can see here. So in a way, it was the perfect trade because he basically went long just along the red line here, the 200-day simple moving average. He had a stop loss below the last reaction low, which was the low from the 12th of September. Uh, and just below that was a stop loss of 24.50. And then his upside target was at 28.75 for just at, for around the previous resistance. So yes, it was a one-to-one risk-reward ratio, but because he was trading in the direction of the previous trend, the odds were still in his favor. And as I said, it was actually the perfect trade because he went long just here. And then within a matter of days, he reached his profit target, which actually could have been higher with hindsight because the market just accelerated higher on Friday and rallied all the way up to 31. Now, today's trade of the week is on the same lines as Josh's was from last week in that I expect equity markets to continue to sell off. And we've seen clear breaches of support all over Asian, European and also US markets. And short term, we may see a little bounce back at I would use that bounce back to then continue to trade in the direction of the prevailing trend, which is pointing lower. So in case of the DAX 40, what has happened here is that on Friday, we slipped through key support. If you look here, I had a support drawn in between the March low and the July lows. Uh, between 12,432 and 12,386. And on Friday, we closed below those support levels on a Friday closing basis, meaning on a weekly closing basis. So this is technically quite important. If you have a weekly closing basis below key support, that means that support has been breached. Now we can see here that we remain below this uh, one month downtrend line. And basically what I would do is I would like to use a minor bounce perhaps this week to go short the DAX. So I would sell at 12,380 with a stop loss above the last reaction high. Now, the last reaction high is simply a high which is higher on the daily candlestick than on the previous days or the following day's highs. So in this case, this high here from uh, Tuesday, the 20th of September, you can see that high was higher than the one on the day before and the day after. And this comes in at 12,940. So what I would do, because I expect the market to continue to go down. So if you go down to a weekly chart on the DAX 40, you can see here we've broken through this key support area. We are close to the 50% retracement of the entire post-pandemic advance at 12,140. And we are likely to slip through that in the next few weeks and months as well and head down towards the lows seen in October of 2020. And these are a long way away. So um, from a technical perspective, I think that the current decline is likely to continue. And this is why I would like to go short the DAX at 12,380 with a stop loss at 12,950 and a downside target of 11,400. Thank you for watching uh, Trade of the Week with me, Axel Rudolf. Please feel free to follow me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is at Axel R underscore IG.